Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Play's Pokemon Black version. Last time, we uh, caught ourselves a, a sand owl named after Radia, and now we're going to be... <coughs> excuse me. We're going to be continuing our way over. Now, uh, for those of you who watched my, um, my uh, gameplay streams uh, Tuesday and Thursday afternoons, you might notice that there's been some leveling up. The only Pokemon I didn't level up was Nyoko, because for a little bit I was thinking if I was going to replace this version of Nyoko with uh, Doramaka. I changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to switch out, because I, oh, I've tra I'm training a Doramaka on my practice file. I've trained them before. I haven't really trained um, Pansir before. Like, so, I figured this is a good opportunity to, um, so I figured, why, what the hell, why not? Uh, I still don't have, like, a grass or a flying Pokemon. And the next Pokemon I have to get, it has to be a flying Pokemon. Uh, I can get a grass Pokemon and swap one of these out, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So, for the time being, I'm going to put Nyoko out in front, and I'm going to put Radia over here, as well, or, or I'm going to put Sky up here. And Roddy is going to go next in line, and it's going to go like that. I'm going to get Nyoko some training next. So, let's continue where we left off. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a Repel here. Because I don't want to get into any wild battles. So, I've got eight of them, so I might as well. <coughs> but anyways, here we go. So, the back of Pia. Last dude I fought was that dude, so there's gotta be some more trainers around here. Yeah, right there. I feel like Yoko being in front was probably a bad idea, but we'll find out here in a second. Alright, Worker Shelby, show me what you got. Timber? Ah, that's not too bad. I can handle that. Yoko can handle that. Um, <coughs> so, it's funny, because I'm literally recording this before I stream my first stream of Pokemon... Uh, Brilliant Diamond. I ye yesterday, today's Saturday. Yesterday was Friday, and I play. I picked up my copy. I've been playing it. Um, don't have much to say right now. There's some things I like. There's some things I don't like. Um, so far, it's been a pretty decent remake. Um, I haven't played the full game, so I can't give my full opinion yet. Um, but for those of you who know me, I don't like fourth gen. <laughs> And I, it's not for the lack of trying. I tried to get into 4th gen multiple times. And everything wrong that 4th gen did, 5th gen just ah, made better for me. And I realize I'm in the minority on that. A lot of people are the other way around. They prefer 4th gen and don't like 5th gen. And I understand why. I like 5th gen for a lot of reasons that people don't like it. <laughs> but I feel like, ah, oh, this is just a waste of time. So I don't know what those points are for. I'm assuming you need, like, like stomp or something. Or not stomp. I don't know what the fuck it is. Anyways, um, that takes care of that. I can't go out that way, so I guess I'm going this way. Oh, wait, there are some dudes down here I had to fight. Did I already fight him? Yes, I did. Oh, god, I already talked to you. I don't want to talk again. Stop. Did I fight this dude? Yeah, I did. Alright. Well, that used up my repel, so I'm gonna go ahead and use another one. Actually, you know what? It's not that far from getting back into a civilization. That's fine. I can just do this. Okay, there we go. What's over there? Did I get what's over here? Yeah, if there was, I got it. Okay, so now let's fight the trainers up in this area here. Is he a trainer? Okay, so... You technically don't need to use a repel here. You just gotta stay across the path. Eventually, you will get to a point where you have to. But, uh, we'll try to stay across the path for the next little bit. Get Yoko some more training. Duramaka. And also, I was going to capture a Pokemon to use for Swoon in this playthrough, but I think I've decided on something else for my stream of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So if you guys want to watch that, want to watch my stream, I will be uploading the VODs here to YouTube, uh, but you guys can check those out when they come up. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and try to bite it. This is a decent amount. Fuck it, no headbutt. 
This will probably finish it off with the sandstorm. Yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. Yoko is strong. He's going to get even stronger as we go on. But, um, very carefully, I'm probably going to be walking a lot around here so I don't run into the, uh, I don't run into the sand here, the deep sand. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, I can risk a little bit for that, yeah. Okay, let's get this Pokeball. Ether, nice. I was just say, there's more turns in there? No, I already fought that guy. <laughs> okay. I want to fight this gal. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> so it's, I've literally got so much Pokemon going on. Right now, that uh, things are happening. <clears throat> and also, um, it's unfortunately not ready today, but I will be having a V, like, the outfit that I have for the little art like punk gym leader artwork I have. I will be getting that put on my model. I have commissioned uh, a friend of mine to do it, so she thought she'd get it, have it done by today, but I, she hasn't messaged me, so I'm assuming it's probably not done. Um, and she works today, so I'm not gonna bother her about it. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I'll make do. Okay. I think I'm gonna just... Yeah, I'm gonna do that just to get around her easier. But we're still gonna fight her. Alright. I may have done too much grinding. Like, this is the thing about this game. Like, you don't have to technically grind. It's actually more difficult to grind in this game than it is in previous Pokemon games. And I think I've explained this before, but the level difference matters. So, um, because I am seven levels higher, if I was, uh, if I was like, a, if I was like level 15 or maybe like 16, 17, 18, I'd be getting more experience from this fight than if I was. The higher level you go up, the less experience you actually earn from battles in terms of things that are below your level. So see, I probably would have gotten like 300 from that had I been, like, a lower level. But that's the trade-off you get, and I like that. I like that you can't just... It adds a level of difficulty to the game without ha without being cheap. And what and one of my problems with 4th uh, Gen is they would just make battles harder by upping the levels. And so there's literally two spots I can think of where you have to grind. Like, there's, like, a section you get to... I think it's called the... What's it called? The Esta, the first big forest area you get to, where you get, where you have to help uh, that girl out. Um, she's a Chansey. Um, that part of the game is what I like to call a "Hey, stupid, it's grinding time" part because um, the game basically gives you, "Hey, we're gonna give you free double battles where you get all the experience, and we're gonna heal you after every battle," basically incentivizing you to grind in there. Now, that being said, in my playthrough so far of Brilliant Diamond, like my solo playthrough, the one that I'm doing on my own, and I'm not streaming, that hasn't become a problem. I don't... There isn't a grinding problem. Of course, those sections are still in the game because people are nostalgic for that, and you want to keep that stuff in because it'll keep the fans happy, uh, but it's kind of unnecessary now. So, that's one thing I've liked about the remakes is they, they fix the grinding problem. And I think they fix. I think the way they fix that is, you get XP share right from the big get go, which s some people would say is a band aid approach. But you know, they've been giving XP share all f for f early on since six gen, so we're used to it. Uh, one thing I don't like um, <clears throat> is that we're back to wild battles. I get it. It's a it's a remake. Um, you wanna you know you wanna keep it as in tune with the original games. However, with that being said, um, it, to me it doesn't make much sense because the last two games, uh, or sorry, was, did it happen in 7th gen? I can't remember if it happened in 7th gen. I'm going to say the last two, possibly three games, you've been able to see the Pokemon that you run into. This is the first game in a while that you haven't. Again, it's a remake. 
but Pokemon Let's Go was a remake. And they did it. They started doing it there, so... I don't know. It, the other thing is, like, this is technically, you know, for hardcore Pokemon fans, these games, these remakes. Um, so, if that was the reasoning, then I understand. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't get it for some things. Um, it's just in a timber. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Nyoko out. And if it gets too hot for Nyoko to handle, I'll switch out. Um, <clears throat> so, like, ha going back to doing wild battles, I get it. It makes sense. It's just kind of silly that we already have a remake where they took out wild battles uh, and made it so that you could see what's on the overworld. To be fair, though, and let's go, uh, wild battles weren't actually battles. You just caught Pokemon, and your Pokemon would gain experience from it. Which is different, but... Uh, I mean, they carried that over, that idea of being able to see the Pokemon that you're getting in a fight with on the over in Sword and Shield. And I thought it was a good idea. Um, you could technically say Pokemon Go did the same thing, because it doesn't really have wild battles. Pokemon appear, and you can choose to fight them if you want. But that one's kind of a, just an eh for me. I'm not, like, upset that they put wild battles back in... Uh, in the remake, uh, but I do wish they hadn't. So I'm kind of indifferent on it. I don't really care either way. Um, to finish this thing off with cut. Oh, it knows by Great. I was gonna say if I don't beat it, the sandstorm's gonna beat it. So real bad time to use by buddy. All right, worker Zach, <clears throat> working real hard out here. I'm doing pretty well with Nyoko. Is that their resting place? Very bad, Dig Pro. I'll give you this. Oh, did I get Dig? Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. I need to give somebody Dig. Uh, let's see. Who can learn it? <clears throat> okay. Um... I can learn it. Everyone on my team can learn Dig. Let's see, Pokemon. I just want to see what the summaries are before I teach it. Okay. Attack is his best stat. Attack is also his best stat. Attack is also his best stat. Attack is also his best stat. <laughs> And special attack is her best stat. I have a lot of attackers, physical attackers on my team. So practically, I could teach Dig to all of them, and it would be beneficial. Um, hmm. Let me just take a look at their moves real quick. Let's see. Cut, Yawn, Bide, Flame Burst. Okay. Okay, Speed's his best stat, but Attack's his better attack stat. Um... So, yeah, it knows Flame Charge, knows Quick Attack, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, he, uh, like, 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 Roddy is obviously the ground type, so she'll get stab damage for it. Um, probably a better move than Sand Tomb. Well, Cut definitely, or I mean, Dig definitely is. And, like, uh, for Pearl, definitely wouldn't be bad to give her Dig... Uh, or them dig. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. I think probably if I give it to a Pokemon, it's gonna either be, uh, Sky, uh, or Yoko. You know what? I'll think about that. Because <laughs> there are some other moves that Yoko can learn that I have TMs for. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's just gotta go. Sandstorms are terrible. A rock type and ground type, steel type Pokemon can weather sandstorm without damage. Good to know. Well, guys, next time on Zero Plays Pokemon Black version, we will come back to this shack and we will continue our way through. See you then. <laughs>